So, in the last chapter we have set up a corrective shape key, and we have used this shape key to optimize the weight maps to work better with fitted mesh. The results so far are not bad, but they are also not good, hence we want to improve further what we already have created. In this video we introduce two new Avastar tools. The Bake to Mesh tool, propagates shape key configurations directly into the mesh. And the Shape Key Automation tool, allows to attach shape keys to appearance sliders. So let's begin with the Bake to Mesh tool. In simple words this function transfers the shape key data directly into the mesh, so that the shape key is no longer needed. Ok, let's see the tool in action. Ensure that the shape key is set to its full influence. Also take care that the belly appearance slider is at its maximum value. Then scroll to the bottom of the appearance slider panel, and call the function, bake to mesh. Now the shape key data has been applied to the mesh, and the shape key itself has been deleted because we no longer need it. And now the resulting mesh matches perfectly to a shape with the belly size set to its maximum. However, when we move the belly appearance slider towards zero, then we see that now it is the default shape that gets distorted. So, obviously just propagating a shape key into the mesh gives good results for the current shape, but apparently we cannot let this mesh fit all belly size sliders equally well. But there is a simple solution to fix this problem. You could create multiple shapes and for each variant you could bake to mesh. For example you can create one version which fits small to medium belly sizes, and another one that works for medium to huge bellies. But creating variants of the mesh object, and storing each variant separately, this again sounds like a tedious process that very likely adds a lot of extra work. So, in the following I tell you about a small time saver, which can make a big difference in your project, and possibly can speed up your development a lot. Part 3 the Shape Key Automation Tool. Let's step back to the moment before we baked the Shape Key to Mesh. So, revert our last steps by pressing Ctrl Z a few times, until the Shape Key is back. Actually we can use this corrective Shape Key in a much nicer way. That is, Avastar allows to attach Shape Keys directly to the appearance sliders. And of course you always can do this manually by adding Blender's key drivers. But we have added a super simple shortcut. That is, by giving the shape key this very specific name, Avastar recognizes the shape key is related to the appearance sliders. Just ensure the shape key is enabled, and then step back into the appearance slider panel, and move the belly slider. You see that the belly shape key changes along with the belly appearance slider. And now you get a perfect shape for any belly slider value, thus you can set up any shape slider configuration to your likes, and then export your mesh for this slider configuration. The good news is, you do not need to maintain multiple copies of your mesh. You only need to define your standard shapes, maybe even store the shapes in the shape presets and finally export the shapes one by one for each defined preset. So this is an easy way to get your standard sizes organized by using shape keys. Well, of course in reality things are a bit more complicated. In this demo we have optimized only for the belly slider. But we actually want to optimize for other sliders as well. So in practice you still have a lot of detail work to do and you need to test a lot but the principles remain the same. However the new Avastar tools are designed for better workflows, which hopefully keep you from ending up in a weight pain disaster. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video.